Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another wonderful episode of the Afterlife Podcast. Today, we are missing Blonde Skunk because he's doing better things in life than talking to us for some reason. But today, we got Puffing Fish HQ on, my nemesis. Hello there. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the Panda Boys over here. We got Hugh Bone, kind of. Hello. That's hot. Okay, we also have my son, Mario, on, too. Hello. Yeah, I feel like you guys are being low-octane right now. What is this? Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome. I feel like that bang was even low. Like, it wasn't... It didn't really have that... Uh, I, I guess it just, it just, it just really didn't pick up on the here. mic. I could just chuck my webcam if that's what you need. for. This. I don't know if that cuts it. No? But... I have to do a friendly reminder of advertising that we're available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music now. So, you know, pretty good services where you can also listen to us at besides YouTube. Because, I mean, if you want to, you know, be able to visually see everybody's beautiful faces, then YouTube's the best bet here. And then also, don't forget that we have podcast suggestions where you can suggest topics or questions in our Discord Highly recommend that you go do that, which is at tiny.cc slash AL Discord. But today was a big day for all Minecrafters, right? It was like, it was basically like, you know, watching the small steps that we took to land on the moon and actually it was a setting huge foot. day. Very I was huge. ecstatic. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw it because. I was watching a different Twitch streamer like five days ago, like joke around that he was like leaking what the Minecraft update was going to be. But now I'm kind of wondering if he actually was serious because he joked mm -hmm. about it being the caves and cliffs update. I'm like, that's a stupid name. And first off, you know, it's the mountains being updated, not no cliffs. And why would they be updating caves like Mojang doesn't do all that much work now? Kind of. <laughs> God, but I had the did same it. exact reaction. They did it. You, why, why are you being an edge lord right now? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I feel you're just trying to mock me. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. So I mean, Puff, what did you think? I mean, I know you're you're the redstoner, and they seem like they're trying to add new redstone things every update. Now they they kind of mentioned that during the announcement, right? Yeah, so the first thing that stood out to me was their, like, vibration thing, where, like, it senses when there's a player walking by. Mm -hmm. And that was exciting because uh, you can obviously write similarly close to wireless redstone now, um, although it's not exactly wireless redstone. Um, and then the thing that I actually got quite excited about was the the lightning rod, because, okay, hear me out here. It's been very difficult to control lightning in the technical scene, uh, but now we can channel it and we can probably make some sort of charged creeper farm without needing a trident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which would be a pretty cool. They thing. give you like the heads, right? When they blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Weren't you massively like disappointed initially when they announced uh the whatchamacallit, the the wireless redstone? When you joined the Discord, you were like Eh. yeah so it's it, it's not like what i would want from a redstone feature personally but i can see how it can be useful and um, once it's in like a snapshot i'll have a better idea of if i like it or not because right mm -hmm. now they kind of only showed a few scenarios that it could be used in and usually those are like the very basics and oftentimes it gets more fun when you see the complex complexities yeah True. Did they say the range on it? No, I don't think so. It, it looked like it wasn't that far, um, mm -hmm. which is one thing that I didn't like about it because yeah. it's like, what's the point of wireless redstone when you can only go two blocks? What's up with that, Mojang? It looks like like five or six blocks, like the diagonal upwards thing they showed. That looks pretty, not like too far, but looks like you make some cool stuff. I mean, I think it might make life a tiny bit easier, but I don't know how drastically. Like, I saw it interacting with the 
the new mob, the warden, because I saw Cub Fan was like rewatching it and talking with the developer about it. And I didn't realize like how intricate like it interacts with that sensor, like all like it, it it like interacts with it to the extreme. I feel like so I thought that was pretty neat from it. Like you know you could crouch around the the warden, be fine or whatever. You know throwing a snowball or whatever, counting all that stuff as sounds for it to get triggered by. It reminds me of uh, Jeff from Half Life Alex. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Probably not because you're all normies. But normies. I mean, it's basically like a blind monster, and you have to, like, in VR, you have to throw things to, like, distract it. You know? Oh, Jeff Very looks similar. really scary. Yeah. It was a pretty scary time for me. My pants were very moist. I mean, afterwards. Oh, I think I remember seeing this. I mean, I don't think. I wonder how many Afterlife members actually own like a VR device besides you. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> I don't. I don't think any of us like owns one besides Hugh. Hugh's wearing like. Everything. Always have it at the ready. When was the last time you used it, Hugh? Um, like ten minutes ago. But Aren't you eating? Yeah. Ten minutes ago. Maybe He's eating in VR, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Understandable. But yeah, that that looks like the scariest mob by far in the game. Yeah, the way he like jiggles. It's like kind of creepy. Jiggles. Yeah, I you see when he was walking, he's jiggling like a little jiggle boy. Yeah, he like kind of tilts side to side, kind of deal because he like. I mean, he's a bit of a rip-off at Iron Golem. I wish they were, like, more new with the mob design, but mm. I'll take it. Uh, I thought it. it was unique enough. Yeah. I it's special like Golem. a heartbeat, too. Mm. When he's, like, chasing you, I, I thought that was a nice little touch. Actually, like, yeah, trying to get scary. Too. Nah, I think that's kind of annoying if you have your sounds off. You don't feel the heart, hear the heartbeat. Just turn it up, yeah. You know, I haven't thought of that. Gosh, diggity darn. Guess I'll have to turn my sounds up. What do you guys think it would drop? Uh, I'm assuming something for that, like, um, that new sensor. redstone component. Yeah. Do you think it has to do with, like, something... To do with his like heartbeat right because like it shows his heart wide open in his chest so it's like mm. maybe that would be an item it drops yeah that definitely could be something i love how on their little like sketch up sheet of it it says a idea one friends with bunnies why is that the first thing that they like think of for this warden mob he know. just likes bunnies dude Maybe it's Mojang just wanting to be quirky, being like, hey, this big spooky monster likes bunnies, guys, come on. You know? Yeah, it's how, like, iron golems hold flowers for you. Like, they look kind of scary, but... That would, the warden would be a crazy thing for, like, if it would, like, if Hermitcraft was on 1.17, like, for decked out to have, I feel like that'd be oh, fun. Oh, man. Like, yeah. imagine having that chase you around and then um, the Ravagers, too. Like, because, I mean, that the whole decked out minigame is, like, pretty dim. So, I feel like it has those vibes already. That would be, like, way harder because, like, you, you'd have to be quiet around these guys. And then when a Ravager comes, like, you have to run. And then the other guy comes after you. That would be tough. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd agree with that. I feel like... If they're going to implement that mob, uh, I'm hoping that they don't just make it with drops that are kind of useless, though. Yeah. Like a lot of mobs. I'm really hoping it's like something special. Yeah. I mean, did they fully elaborate on like the mob spawning mechanics for it? Like, did they mention that it only spawned in... Oh, I guess it spawns only in the deep dark areas, right? So yeah. I don't know if it's like a one-time thing kind of deal, right? Or like how how easily it spawns, I guess. 
Yeah, I feel like it'd be easy to just like place a couple blocks and you know do that cheaty strategy when you just hit the feet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I wonder how they could like combat that. I mean, or if they can at all. Can't the Ravengers like kind of break walls, right? Mm. I think they they can break leaves. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty sure. Um, I've watched them break more than leaves. I think, right? Well, or I'm pretty sure I've only seen them break leaves, Jay. Fight, fight, fight. Well, no, I was with, I was with an afterlife member at KB's base because they caused a pillager raid. When was it you, Puff? I think it was you. Yeah. Didn't didn't the Ravager break more than like just leaves, or was it only leaves? Yeah, he went through all the crops. Those all get destroyed. Can it um, only? Is, is that and it? And then I, I think there might have been the some of the logs too. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about logs. I'm pretty sure because I had to fix. I think one of the dark oak trees, and then I think KB had like an oak tree like in his crop area. I felt so bad about that. Was... Um. But Hugh, what you said earlier about like the cheaty strat, I think it's gonna be a lot harder since um the caves are much more open now. So it's not like you can just close off the tunnel because you can just run around you. No, uh, you, you can still place a couple blocks in front of you. You know. Yeah. It's it's or you could pillar up even. Yeah. If you see it coming at you. Yeah. Unless it's got like big arms, big range, big money. He do be looking kind of big. I mean, you saw it in the teaser video when they were, like, in that little side room. He, like, threw a snowball. It's like, you're fine in that room. He can't come in, so what's the big deal? Why would you run out? I mean, I guess to showcase, you know, the features of that mob. But, like, it already kind of seems easy to, like, go against him since, you know, he's that big, right? But I, I would like for it to, like, be able to break blocks. So, you know, like, how, how when zombies are breaking doors, like, you know, it, like, takes off like a little bit you know like 20 percent mm -hmm. then another hit and then another hit and yeah. boom the door breaks it'd be nice if they could do that with blocks i think i mean it's, you're only gonna find them in caves right or well in the deep dark yeah, yeah, so, yeah. i mean i wouldn't see a problem with them just breaking stone there yeah as long as light level stops them from spawning i think it'd be fine yeah no i, I like it when it's like spooky well, like, if you're going to build a base underground, you know, you wouldn't want them spawning and breaking your base. That's true. It's but, like, cool to maybe have... it'll be, like, an extra survival challenge, you know? You're, try you're, dig you're building a base in this super spooky, deep underground cave, and you got to watch out for the monster boys. True. True. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's cool to have something that could, like, potentially kill you even if you're decked out with like netherite stuff yeah i mean what you got the guy got two shotted right with full netherite gear unenchanted of course but still that's like a three seven shot hearts enchanted. in one hit it's cool yeah it's cool to have more powerful mobs you know mm. i have a feeling that's going to be like maybe not i'm hoping it doesn't get nerfed but i have a feeling it will be i don't want it to be nerfed Neither do I, but I have a feeling. I feel hmm. like we deserve stuff like that in the game. We need something to fear. Yeah, we need challenges. Yes, even though I feel like that's not what Mojang's about. So I feel like it's a bit surprising that they would add something that like scary or like powerful, right? Hmm. I wonder what happens when you play on peaceful. It still spawns. He's going to be your best friend. He's going to be like an iron golem and hold a rose for you. Mm -hmm. Or his heart out for you. And he'll give us bunnies. <laughs> nice. I don't know about that part. I'm pretty sure he's going to keep the bunnies for himself. I want the bunnies, though. But anyways, um, you, what's your favorite feature about 1.17? I haven't seen the live stream. I've just seen little clips here and there of the big golem boy, so... You're lying. That's, I, I mean, it's the truth. We have I'm, a whole document. Yeah, do we, we have some dedicated. stuff prepared here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me check the Afterlife podcast document real quick. I can, <laughs> I can go good. first then. 
Yes, please. Go. Okay. For me, I like that they've added... Um... <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. I'm just We're dealing just with... laughing at Hugh being Yeah, I'm Hugh. dealing with Hugh's stupidity. All right, it's all good. I like the uh, axolots a little bit. Oh yeah, they're cool. I feel like since they could, they attack things underwater. It's like having a pack of wolves underwater, mm -hmm. and it's a cool dynamic for like an underwater like ecosystem type thing. Mm -hmm. And I like that they only spawn in caves, which makes it like, oh, I want to get a pet, whatever. I have to go to a cave and find this special area, um, which makes it cool. And I also like the approved cave generation, how it makes it more open, kind of like the older caves used to be. Um, yeah. That's that's a big, big deal for me, at least. And it's going to make underground building a lot more popular, maybe. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I've already been like an underground base guy. Yeah. So I've only, I branched out for season three of Afterlife, but. Hmm. Yeah, they look way cooler. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm still sold on the the new underwater mob. Like, I feel like it's going to be like the wolves, like you said, except you're probably not really still going to use them, right? Like, I'm pretty sure Skunk is, like, the only Afterlife member that I know on the server that has pet wolves, or even pets in general. They're honestly kind of like a nuisance almost all the time. They are. Uh, especially late game. I'm hoping they add a cool feature to it. That's my like hope that they also like do something for late game players because that's a mm -hmm. very big percentage of the Minecraft people. Yeah. So did they say that it was like actually going to behave like pets where you can tame them, or was it more like they kind of follow you around and become your friend? Once you capture them in a bucket, it was like giving a wolf a bone kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess oh, that nice. makes, like, taking them around pretty easy, then. Yeah, yeah, they can be an item. But I guess only one at a time. What do you mean, one at a time? Oh, what do you mean? Uh, Because you can they only have stack. one in per, one per bucket. Oh. So, unless you... I guess with the new bag thing, you could probably do something with that. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, how yeah. do you do how do the that's bags good... work with unstacking uh, stuff? That's the thing I'm worried about. They didn't do a very good job with that, personally. I mean, it just says that as long as it's 64 items in total. So that's all it said. Oh. 64 shulker boxes. I mean, we don't know if shulker boxes can go in there. Uh, they better, dude. That would make it worth it. That would, that would, that, then I'm sold. I'm still not even sold. Like, you have to, in order to take your items out of it, right? You have to let everything from that bag go into your inventory or whatever, right? So to me, I mean, it's that's like... That's just what they showed. I don't know if you can... Well, they were like showcasing everything where you could like middle click on stuff to add it to the bag or whatever. And then like you can open the bag in a chest or whatever, I think. And then you can do it in your inventory. But it's like everything has to come out, to, which is like... Uh, yeah, me not I, I don't intuitive. Think... I don't think they want to make it uh, so easy to like carry more items, though. Even though I personally think they should, they should like expand out the inventory big, big, but like big. how big? Big, how big? I'd Maybe like an I... extra six slots. Only you know? six? Yeah, well, three on six each side, side, right? Yeah, three on each side. And, and then probably make the hot bar one too larger. Uh, or they could keep the hot bar at the same size. And then just have like a thick overtone mm. when you're looking in the inventory. That yeah. would be nice, but not exactly. I don't know if they would do that, but yeah, that would be very nice. I don't think they'll ever really truly like mess with the inventory size. Like, I feel like that's something that they're strongly against or they're scared to mess with. And, like, I understand that. Yeah. yeah, I'm assuming there's probably like a lot of backbone stuff to it that they would probably break if they did try to mess with it. That I think also... the multi-million dollar company can deal with that, Jay. 
A multi-billion dollar Multi-billion, company. sorry. Probably a lot, worth a lot more now. I wonder how much they're worth today compared to when they were bought. Or if they were even worth what they were bought. Hmm. Hmm. Is it just me or does the, the green copper, does it look like, like prismarine? Kind or is that of, just yeah. my glasses? Uh, it reminded me more of the warped wood that we got in the nether update recently. Oh, but true. yeah, I can kind of see because it still kind of has a, like the little hints of orange in it. Or like you can kind of see where like it yeah. kind of stands out in it. Like a shiny prismarine. I do like that effect but i'm i'm hoping they add a way so you can keep it like copper too yeah for aesthetics and whatnot i know i think tink was not a fan of the texture of the block in general i mean he, he said it reminded him too much of like the end blocks i think purple specifically if i recall correctly i wouldn't yeah, they got like, like the, the texture look. of the block the tile look I wouldn't say these were final at all. I mean, I know Jasper said some of them are kind of final, and then a lot of them are like still, you know, being fiddled with kind of deal. Like he said, all the archaeology stuff is like, for example, still kind of placeholders and still being worked on. Hopefully, we get a lot more out of that. Dude, I think that's pretty sick so far. I'm really? hoping. I'm, oh, dude, I'm hoping that they make it so it's a structure and not a generation. That would be cool. So what's the difference? The, is, diff yeah. the difference is a structure uh, means that blocks placed in that area will still have the effects of what mm. that structure generated with. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's a generation, it's essentially like a one-time thing. Mm. Mm. Not that I'm assuming they're not going to keep diamonds because then it would make diamonds farmable if they did it that way. Yeah. But I'm more excited because possibly like a dirt farm. Oh. Dirt farm. Are those, those, they exist, but they're not, um, they, they require a lot of inventory management and stuff, crafting and whatnot. You can craft dirt? Uh, coarse dirt, then you, you use a hoe and it goes back to dirt, so you get two extra per gravel. Oh, I see. So I it's know. not fully automatic then, because you need the gravel. Well, gravel you can automate, so. Really? A uh, piglin <laughs> barter. Can you, small brain can you obtain it normally, or is it unobtained? You just said through piglin bartering, Hugh. Oh, through, okay, so it is obtainable. The only thing that's... <laughs> I that's, misheard. Uh, not infinite resources the dirt would but that makes it infinite because you can get infinite gravel it, it's it works okay that's cool i'll take your word for it we got off topic my bad oh no it's fine but like i am personally amazed at how like a lot of people hated this but i mean i think it's interesting that they're pushing that but like it feels modded like they're they're willing to like go out, you know, what people are comfortable with and actually like add it. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, there were a lot of complaints about like what uh the new amethyst geodes or whatever they're called exactly. We have the new copper stuff which kind of feels modded because like you typically see that in modded, right? So a little different. See then the the thing sorry Jay to cut you off. I apologize. But the thing for me is that, like, every update to me seems mm -hmm. modded, like, before you get used to it. You know that what I mean? True. Like, once you get used to it, it's like, okay, this is, like, this fits. Yeah, but when you yeah. first see it, it's like, okay, this seems, what are you doing, Mojang? Oh, God. You know, like, you sort of get that uh, sort of impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got nothing against modded. I love modded. There's just, like, a lot of stuff, so... I guess if they don't, like, add a bunch of weird stuff at once. Like, this is this is a digestible amount of content, you know? I feel like people are going to be pretty satisfied. 
I guess it might feel like some of the stuff feels modded because a lot of it just seems like out of left field that you wouldn't imagine in this game, right? Like, yeah. Would you really think that you're gonna have archaeology sites? No. I, like I didn't hear anyone suggest that ever. <laughs> I'm also kind of surprised they didn't do more with, like, the fossils that we actually have in the game, right? You know, we have these fake big fossils that they make. And like you don't, the bone block ones? Yeah, the bone block ones. You don't see them doing anything with that I, in that I forgot about video. those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's rare to, like, you know, encounter them, but, like, you just would think they would have done more with that or whatever. But, like, I mean, I'm taking Maybe it, they you will. know, interesting. I don't know what they were thinking with the telescope, though, but yeah. Telescope. Yeah, I didn't actually watch that part, but it sounds pretty lame. It is perhaps the most questionable thing for them to add with the how they went about it. Wait, can we rewind a little bit? Yeah. What, what is the point we... of what is the point of copper? They haven't explained that right now. We just know it as a building block and an ore. Yeah, because it's you like need, if oh, and no one's going to get rock. a copper pickaxe, yeah, you know, you if they decide to go that route. And then for some reason they were boasting about it, that ore veins are being added to Minecraft with copper ores. And it's like, you already have ore veins. What are you talking about? And that it supposedly generates in a different way from our typical veins. So I don't know. It's a little, it's a little odd. Um, I know. How some... does it generate differently? I don't know, cause when I was watching the video, I'm like, it looks like it generates like typical ore, so I don't really see the difference here. You're just trying to pull the we wool over see. our eyes. We shall see. I mean, stuff already generates in veins, so it's like, I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here, but whatever. Um, I know. One of the things I noticed like last second that I thought was pretty crazy was that we're getting grass carpets or moss carpets, whatever they are. Mm. And we can actually blend stuff in naturally instead of using like green carpet or whatever. Yes. I wish we got like carpets of other stuff though, like stone, sand, etc. Well, I mean, at that point, why not just have carpets of everything? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, at That'd least very the stuff that you kind of use for, like, pathing, at least. But where does for, it like, end? Terrain. Where does the carpet end, Jay? I mean, See, that's I'm surprised the you were willing to add that. So, okay. I, I, I'm enough. just trying to Fair take enough. whatever I can get from them, because that's something, like, I noticed when I was re-watching real quickly, to, like, get screenshots, I was like, why, does, why is there an indent here, you know? Like, there's the grass block, and then there's, like, a little, you know mound that's like a little bit bigger so how would it blend in though if it's just like a little bit of grass like well, how could you make different it different elevations yeah it's elevated like you know like a carpet just a tiny bit taller really though like wouldn't grass just like the same texture just like a little bit underneath serve the same purpose Puff's dog is really intriguing me right now <laughs> Nice, nice one. But anyways, guys, I would have to say, if you guys are done talking about carpets, mm -hmm. um, I would say that, you know, initially this doesn't seem like a very, like, builder-oriented update. Really? You think so? But, really? but there were a lot of, like, textures that were shown in the video. So, mm -hmm. um, those have me that pretty builders intrigued. can use. Yeah, you also have these candles, which, um, by the pictures we have, they look kind of like very like polygony. The yeah. black one, at least, I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, those look cool. People used to like use sea pickles and retexture them, but now we have real candles. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't think you can harvest the crystals, right? No, you can't harvest anything in that place i think i'm i'm not too sure dude I you mean, can finally make a sacrificial circle using actual candles yeah oh that. yeah we can expect to see some weird 
um ritualistic things next season. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have marble now. That's been hinted at, right? Yeah. I didn't notice it initially, but somebody was like, oh my gosh, there's marble. And I'm like, oh. So, I mean, we'll be getting that at least as a new addition. Wait, we can make those like marble machines? Where it's like you put a ball down a thing and it rolls like rolls down. Yeah, I mean, yes, I think you. we can already do that already, Hugh, but yeah. Oh. We can do that just for you. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, marble would be cool, because, like, I know a lot of people don't like diorite, because it's dirty and, like, kind of hard to use. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah, of people you... think quartz is too expensive for, like, bigger builds, so marble could be, you know, a good middle ground. Mm hmm you guys have those marble sets as kids where, like, you roll the marble down a spiral and you can, like, make it go through the different things? You're talking like, about, like, like the, the little puzzles. cores? What are, you, what are yeah, we talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like where you have, like, a little marble ball and it rolls down a spiral. And it's cool. I did. Did, did you, you enjoy it? Did you, Hugh? <laughs> I hate that you have no, a mask I didn't. on. <laughs> I didn't really like it that much. Okay. Have you guys ever tried to eat marbles as a child? No. I did, accidentally. They look so good. I would just keep them in my mouth and, like, swirl my tongue around them. And then I accidentally swallowed one once and thought I was going to die. But it's okay. It turned, I turned out okay. I oh, turned out yeah, just it's, fine. It's just like but what happened off. afterwards, like, immediately? Did you need help? No. Nah. I just kind of, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And then it was okay. Like, how old were you? Good. Were you, like, 15? Uh, that was, like, last year, I think. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. Expected. Yeah, I was just making sure. You, you, you are a special person. That's all I can say. Probably because I swallowed that marble. The osmosis from the lead probably oh. must have, like, re-scrambled oh. my brain or something. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. Is that scientifically accurate, Puff? Why do you think I know? I, I, I don't know. Like you're, the smart, you. you're the smart it's redstone like a smart guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, smart guy. Marbles, totally in your field of expertise. Yeah. Well, I know that lead is bad for you. That's all I can say. I would yes, agree. Yes, lead is bad. Yep, if PB your and J. happen to be made of lead, then I would assume it's probably not good that you swallowed that marble. Yeah, I think so, too. It could have awakened, like, latent superpowers within me, though. True, true. Are you, you know are I mean? you feeling anything yet, Hugh, from that? You know, are you feeling any superpowers? Um, well, sometimes my brain feel funny. That's about it. That's good, that's good. I mean, have you ever try to, like, just channel that feeling? Um, and, like, just do this? And, try like, to make something I levitate. tried to do, like, a Kamehameha. Mm-hmm. Ended Nothing. up punching a hole in my wall. Oh. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if we're, like, tired of talking about the new Minecraft update or well, not. I, I was going to ask a quick question. So, since yes. we have technical expert Puffing Fish here, and then we also have the creator of Steve Harvey... Mob farm, and then we have also Square Meyer here, creator of his own creeper farm. You know, I was wondering, like, does like dripstone offer anything like beneficial? Like, you know, I could, I assume like we could use lava if we really wanted to to like get mobs down, but like we have dripstone now. So, do you think like that is that the addition... stalactite? Yeah, the stalactite slash stalagmite slash whatever. Um, do we think those pointy pieces of rock are gonna be like beneficial in any way, like more than whatever all? whatever, like, other alternatives that we currently have to, like, make mobs die? Or, like, would it not work? That's good. Um, if it increases fall damage, that would definitely be a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. because, like, I feel like that makes sense because, like, impale, you get impaled or something. <laughs> but, um, if it doesn't increase fall damage and it just does, like, some extra damage when you're there, like magma blocks, I don't think that would be good. 
Yeah. They know in the teaser they kind of showed a, a zombie falling onto it and like immediately dying, and it was only like a five block fall, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure a zombie would survive, you know, if it wasn't that. So if that's the case, that's going to make farms that need that like farms basically able to kill mobs quicker. Right. And that's always good because it um, provides more spaces to the mob cap and that makes yeah. things faster. And... Yeah. I, I feel like they tried to do spikes already with magma blocks. Like that was kind of the purpose of that. And then now they're like, hey, actually, we're doing spikes. But better. So, but better. But actual spikes. I guess. Guys, what if what if they're just trying to oversell it on purpose and they actually hit the zombie to like one health and See, then push it off for the video? That's what I was wondering. I was like, what if the zombie is already weak this whole time? And like they just did that. I don't think Bojang would lie to us. Well, would they not? I mean they lied to us about the hypnotizing glow squid. Or they deceived oh. us. Yeah, it was just you know, Jay, you shouldn't expect everything from a short little animated video, maybe. I mean, I was thinking that we were gonna get the submarine and the scuba suits, you know, I thought we were gonna have like yeah. the whole gear ready to go. But no. I mean I still voted Wait, what, for Glow Squid. What did you guys vote for? I voted for the Glow Squid as well. Both times. I did too. What are our options? Did you not vote? Rip. Glow Squid, uh, Isolager, aka Chillager, and Moo Bloom. What is that? I know about the Moo Bloom, but what does the Ice Lawlager do? Uh, he tries to kill you. He tries to kill you. He's from Minecraft Dungeons. He would spawn on the top of mountains, like at the peak areas. And mm -hmm. if he gets into combat with you, he'll spawn like a, a, a nice tube. Two by two of ice, I guess, or something ice above you, and throw that at you. That's it. Hmm. How would he like navigate around the mountains, though? Because I last time I checked, mobs have like difficulty like jumping up and like going down around little little st inclines. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's just chilling. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll never know. Well, oh, drop my rupees cube. Um, yeah, I didn't vote for any of them, guys. I don't blame you. I mean, none of them are worth your time, right? Like when you when you see everything else they showcase during it, it's like, why did we get the you know pointless decision? Yeah, yeah. I think it... I. Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, um, yeah, the the. The update was definitely a pleasant surprise because, like, just from the from the general tone of like the they set with the mob vote, like I I think a lot of people agree that they thought the update wasn't gonna be so like special. It's gonna be another one of those like one or two features, bug fixes. These I don't know, updates. but yeah, they did end up adding a lot of stuff. Besides, do you, um, do you think they did that intentionally to like you know make us have bad you know first impressions with the update? And be like shocked when to make it actually us set the came. bar low. Yeah. 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 That's isn't that like an actual business tactic or something? Yes, Definitely. sir. Like remember from the I don't know. Have you guys seen the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies? Yes. It's like you tell Not your mom movies. you got a C or you got a D, and then you say you got better than you actually did. Yeah. That's what it feels like is happening right now. I don't know. Until they told me the release date, then I was massively disappointed. Oh, oh, we're yeah, gonna have that. to wait until summer 2021. Yep. See, this is why I don't get hyped for things. I saw you guys. I was I was with you guys while you were watching the uh, trailer. You're getting so excited. Oh my gosh, cave biomes! Oh, and then you saw the the uh, the date, and it's like, oh, disappointment. And I'm just here, like, ha, never was hyped in the first place, buddy. You know. I don't know. I think it was kind of like expected that there would be another update this year or like early next year. But I guess they just decide they don't need an update. So, yeah, a year. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Keep if they, yeah. Along. they do a very good job, you know, and take their time. Like if everything is like 
Here's the question, Good Jay. Job. If they fix your bug that you always talk about with blocks in the sky, will you be happy? I mean, he I already told you. My bug is not even on their playing list of bugs to fix. Mm. It's not but even what, on the if list. If they do, though, if they fix that one bug, Jay, will it all be worth it? Yes, then I will be I, I will be the most optimistic Mojang simp. Mm. I'll be Amen. like, oh my gosh, Mojang, you guys are the best. You fixed my number one problem with the game. That's what I'll do. But in the meantime, I'll continue to look at Sly Slime and wonder why he has not fixed my bug. Sly Slime getting called out Just right now. Commenting in his videos like, fix my bug, fix my bug. <laughs> no, he's probably, you know, at this point I'm probably on like their, their ban list of never like to be associated with, you know. Gonna block me on Twitter. You know, I'm just gonna type like type something in Slice Slime's Twitch stream and just instantly get banned or whatever. Mm. Oh yeah. I couldn't imagine yeah. having to be like a developer then like creating content for that game because like I wonder if like people are like constantly asking him, Hey, when are you gonna fix this bug? When are you gonna do this? Hey, can you help me get my Minecraft account back? Blah oh, blah blah. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know why that's my world annoying. does this? Can you yeah, make like mobs behave like this? Questions that should you should ask you to or Google. Yeah, that would suck, honestly. But I mean, he's trucking along, so I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I mean, you know, more power to him. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, um, what are you looking? Do we have for, anything Mark? else to talk about regarding um? Minecraft update. We have clay pots, guys. We missed the talk oh about clay pots. Oh my gosh. We can oh bring our goodness. heritage to the game. Show what we've experienced. You know, I, that tree and sun in that one picture symbolizes the start of our first night. That cow was the first cow I had to murder myself with my bare hands. Become bare girls. I, actually, I usually make a wooden axe first. Or a wooden sword. Uh, I prefer, like, tenderizing it myself. Wow, it's just like the the booty of the cow in that picture <laughs> yeah. that we have. Yeah, yeah. it very interesting. Yeah, like do do we think it's like a very useful feature? No. Well, unless yeah, they useful. have some sort of signal strength thing, then no. Hmm. As I told uh, the other afterlife members, I hope it's an urn. What's that? So I can were you put, put your cremated ashes in it. Yeah. Your dead ah. body. Be able to like solidify that this is where you died with all this stuff in it. Well, see what you can do. You can do that and then you can put it in a cave and then it'll be <laughs> ashes den. Uh... That one's it a looks like map. a decent, like if you didn't fire it, it looks like it could be a decent um, brave head though. Hmm. I... Hmm. I don't know, too. like, like if they added some sort of lid, that would definitely make it good. Did they talk about like what you can do with the pot? Like, no. is it for plants or storage? Nothing. They don't have anything for it yet, but I'm assuming water or plants or storage mm. or all three. That would be awesome. Everything mm. would be nice. I wonder if you can like compound patterns, like bannards. Ba Sorry, compound patterns like banners, you know, where you can put like patterns and like make a new pattern using the patterns, except on the pot this time. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be interesting. That'd be nice. Like have another use for those patterns that you get, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of just only using it on banners, which nobody yeah. really does. Hey, banners are kind of cool. When was the last time you used banners here? Banners are kind of cool. When was the last time you used banners? Let's hear it. Well, see, the thing about the cool thing about banners is that you can compound different patterns together, and you can make really cool things like when, different when was shapes last time and you letters done that, and Hugh? clan names. When did you last do that? So, guys, moving on. What's our next topic? So, with I guess release date. For Minecraft 1.17 being summer 2021, I guess that will delay season 4 until then. 
I mean, I don't know. How long do you guys typically like play on a world or a server before they reset a world? Like, what do you think like should be the typical thing, or do you think they should even reset? I guess servers Forever. are different from single player worlds. Where like resetting's kinda I guess essential on a server in a way. Like yeah. reset the economy and like the starting area and enjoy all the new mechanics that were added and whatnot. I personally think a year to a year and a half is like my ser the amount of time that I can stay interested in a server. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I See. personally, like, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, burnt out of, like, the server. Like, if I get burnt out, it's over the game. Like, I think yeah. I'm going to play on the world regardless. Like, if it's been running for three, four years, I th I'd still play on it. Because from how I see it, you just keep building stuff. I don't know. Yeah. And... So Having gear just makes it easier to build stuff. So, yeah. I mean, the thing about Minecraft, you can be like intrinsically motivated. You know, you, if you want to do something, it's like boom, bada yeah, bing, bada boom, mean? do it. Intrinsic? Yeah. It means like you can motivate yourself to do something instead of having like the game motivate you. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's like you can theoretically just like keep building and building and like goofing around. Hanging yeah. out with the boys. But Jay, on the other hand, he's like, I need to speed run getting diamonds and then I'm done. I'm not even speed running getting diamonds. <laughs> People are giving me these diamonds like no tomorrow. No, no, you're speed running the strategy to collect as many diamonds as possible. And then he's done. How, how am I speed running? Elaborate, please. Well, you make different, uh, very highly profitable shops. This is my first time the, ever owning the bookstore, and the bookstore is not even the most profitable shop. It's such the freaking end city shop. Such as the bookstore and the end in, in city shop. And, oh. and sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> the end city shop. Very, very essential shops that many people use. And uh, well, he's just in every video I see him counting his diamonds and flexing. Yeah, it's like that's the. It's diamond, like that's the. It's diamond like diamond that's the, oh, twenty. It's like that's the goal for you. Just collect those diamonds. You and know, it makes good. the world go around. Seeing profits. You know, I feel like you know I'm uh, Jeff Bezos over here, looking mm -hmm. down on my peasants that support me every day. Well, that's what it feels like. I mean. Puff, you're over here making diamonds. I see you. Don't try to act Yeah, dude, sorry. I'm really excited, but but I am going to be broke in about a month. You watch. In a month? Why would you be broke in a month? Because I'm going to buy stuff for projects. You'll be yeah, fine. You keep making money. You're fine. I bought a lot of beacons. Yeah, yes. you're good. Thank you. But I actually, I, I did the bulk discount, and I actually think I might never go back for beacons again at this point. It's fine. The bulk discount means you can also use them as lamps now. Hmm. That's true. They don't just have to be beacons. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of the members are medieval-ish kind of builders, so it kind of doesn't fully work. Medieval fantasy? It could work. Yeah, yeah. it's like a magic Lamp. lantern. Exactly. That's, that's the only way I could do medieval. Or see mm -hmm. beacons in medieval is more what I meant. I mean, we have Tinkfro now, so I mean, you know, new addition to the server. So I mean, that should hopefully help foster some diamonds for you over there. Even though he's like dirt poor, I don't know how many beacons. Do you give him any beacons? No, I gave Justin a beacon at the beginning of his when he started. That's the only mm -hmm. person I gave a beacon. I can't believe this Tinkfro guy. He put an I O U. He put three IOUs in my shulker box, or yeah. where to buy shulker boxes. I mean, he still paid off, so it's fine. You know, it doesn't matter. I'll take my diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's the broke life. I mean, he's been doing fine with the bounties over there. So, I mean, yeah. I plan on adding a pretty hefty bounty over there to, you know, give it a nice little start, my entrance. I'll be buying three tridents. They have to be brain. Well, 
you can't have any tridents currently. Like, you have to get them after I put the bounty in. So, like, if you already own a trident, it won't count. Jay, can I just put my trident in a grindstone and pretend? No. Like no, you're going to have to show me the clip where you kill it. Wow, hey, can, you're I just, picky. can I stage the clip? Well, no, because I'm giving, like, 12 diamond blocks per trident. Uh, I mean, that's actually, he could do it pretty easily. He just has to drop the trident in front of a drown, yeah, right? Yeah, and probably kill it, yeah. But, you know, we're, we're going based off, you know, the bro code, the trusting, you know, the honor system. You know, like when the school says, yes, do not violate the honor system, even though you probably have violated uh -huh. it multiple times. When have you, you sign... violated it? No, of course not, Hugh. <laughs> have you? <Okay. laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Should be... I mean, we got the Halloween area kicking off, right? You know, it looks like a lot of fun stuff is happening over there. Winter's making diamonds off everybody with this pumpkin patch. He made, what, like 20 diamond blocks today? Ooh. And he's restocking it, so... Bro, big, big grand. Yeah. yeah. And then, just hearing Winter talk about the, the haunted mansion that he's making, like the the sheer size of it, so that should be exciting because he said it was going to be like a a Disneyland, Disney World kind of ride where you like go from room to room. So he might need your help for that, Puff, or Justin's help. I mean, I know Winter said that he has some redstone knowledge, so he might not, but it'll be interesting to see like how that's going to work. He said that there's going to be like Gravengers that like jump scare you kind of deal. Um, yeah, that's... Winter... He is about his projects, dude. Got some big stuff going on. Dude, Winter was really on this Halloween town, I gotta say. Yes. He was like the driving factor, brought everyone together. Yeah, Winter Tooth, more like Autumn Tooth. More like Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, so I mean, lots of fun stuff in the works. You know, I'm excited to see what happens over there. Who gets spooked and who doesn't i mean it should be exciting i mean we should be having some fun events coming up soon hopefully given that everything comes to plan since we still have some people missing from filling out the meeting link i think i think we have one person who is it jay call him out i call mean there's out. a there's another person on top of that but yes puff you are one of the people all right yeah i didn't realize my bad. You're gonna make me cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, so we should be having fun stuff playing. I don't know if we're gonna do a streamathon this month, but we will have to see about that because I don't think time's on our side. We don't have a lot of time to like fully plan everything out, unfortunately. We have a full gonna... month. Well, we have to have. Well, the idea is we're trying to play in two events, right? Mm hmm. That's two weekends automatically because I don't think we're going to be able to have them on the same weekend. So, and then that? because people are busy to begin with, mm. I don't, I don't, I, I just don't see that being possible, which is a bit unfortunate. And then yep. our, our upcoming weekend, it would be like short notice to like, I guess, plan that maybe. I don't know. I could try to, but. I would need the look. But should be exciting. I'm a little bit surprised Mario abandoned us over here. What do you say? I don't even think he said anything. Did he even say anything? Dude, he just walked up and left. Oh, maybe maybe he did. Maybe he did. Bro. Mm -hmm. That's a oh, bad see, okay. see this is this is bad because like I can't tell when my mic's blocking my Discord notification. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess it's unfortunate, but so I know one of the things we kind of jump started before the podcast was what is the best and worst candy? Like we got Halloween right around the corner. That's like the whole point, right? You know, of Halloween. So do you think M&Ms is your favorite candy, Hugh? No, I just hold them up in front of the screen. I really like uh, Butterfingers because I really love like peanut butter chocolate stuff. Mm -hmm. That's really good to me. You're not like a Reese's man then? Oh yeah, I love Reese's. 
Oh yeah. Me too, dude. Me too. I think my favorite candy though has to be like uh generally I really like sour candy. Hmm. Which kind though? Uh I like the sour punch strips or whatever. Oh those the straws, really yeah. Yeah, those are really good. And then the I guess uh, there are strips too. I was I was referring to the straws, I just didn't know that was the name of them. Mm-hmm. And then I also really like um Oh crap. I do like Oh man, I can't think of the name. I gotta look it up real quick. Well the thing about sour candy for me is that it makes your teeth really like sensitive. And when you grind them together, it feels like you're actually grinding your teeth, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Part. Like it what feels like grind? okay, so like when 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 you're when you touch your when 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 you touch your teeth together, right? It's like it's like it feels oh. fun. But then it's like oh, yeah. when it's sour candy, it's like um like my teeth are gonna fall off. Oh. Hmm. I've never had that. Really? So are you saying you have sensitive teeth, you? I mean maybe if sour candy does that. Hmm. I've yeah, I've never experienced that with sour candy. It just makes them real sensitive, I guess. I don't know. For me I it's mean... going from hot to cold. I mean that is possible, right? Like I have sensitive teeth. I mean, that's kind of my fault with, like, me brushing too hard. But, like, I've noticed, like, occasionally, like, it doesn't even have to be something, like, acidic like this. Like, it could just me, like, the other day I was eating my, okay, this banana nut bread over here. And, like, for some reason that, like, triggered my teeth. Like, the back of my teeth over here. I don't mm -hmm. know, like, just random spurts of it. Um, I know like candy can do that, like especially like if it like gets on my tooth and like just sits there. Um, I feel like that's for everyone though. If you got like sugar concentrated in one spot. Yeah. Mm. But mm. I think my favorite candy has to be like I know this is pretty basic, but I like so, like the Hershey bars with almonds in them. I don't know. I mm, feel like they yeah, taste like pretty decent, too. but like even just having like peanut M and M's are pretty good. I enjoy those. I used to love Milky Ways, but now I can't eat them because I ate so much of them in like high school and Snickers too. They're not like the same anymore after eating so many of them. Have you ever tried? Um, I think they're called Nutty Bars. Like the, they're like chocolate wafer type things that you keep frozen, or I think frozen, maybe? I don't know. They kind of sound familiar. I think, I, I might be butchering the title. I can't type because the microphone. I think I see them, Nutty Bars. I don't, yeah, I've never had them before. They're think, so good. Are they? Yeah, they're really good. It's like chocolate wafer, but like, it just has like a really, like, it like the taste is different, but like better. Oh, you know, they even got peanut butter ones for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the peanut butter. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I haven't had those. I mean, I remember like as a kid, like just having the wafers, like the vanilla and like strawberry, and I think there was like chocolate maybe as like a a preschooler or whatever. And like they would have hmm. that for like snack time or whatever. You ever have those like uh slushy tubes? Whatever I don't know. They're like I forgot what they were called. Like those are the, good. Yeah, yeah. Like the ices, I think they're called. Oh, yeah. you're talking about those. I was like, are we talking about like gogurts here? Or are we talking about yeah, like yeah. the frozen ice that's flavored? Yeah, that's yeah. I I hated that. I you hated hate the flavoring. What yeah. do you mean? Uh, the I flavoring the... just didn't work with me. Ow. Ice pops. I'm pretty sure they're so good. Mm. Uh, I, I might be. I don't know if we're talking about the same thing. Maybe not. Oh, maybe you're thinking of something more like those lame ones, like that the school would have. Well, like no. yeah, yeah. Hey, let me here. I'll send it in the chat. Yeah, like the school canteens would have them. Let's see, what do we got from Hugh here? These. Yeah, that's the wrong channel. What do you mean? Those were fine. They uh, they tasted pretty bad. Really? You thought those were bad? Yeah, the the taste didn't sit well with me. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Those are good. Yeah, I enjoy those. Crush them up and then try to suck the juice out of them and then enjoy the ice. 
Yeah, I just something about the flavoring just doesn't vibe with me, dude. I don't know. Almost every day at lunch when they offered them, then they stopped offering them because they were bad for you. And it was fifty cents too. It was like fifty cents. Those things are cheap. I don't, I'm Yo, surprised that's they're charging fifty cents. I know, but it was like because you're a captive audience at school, you know. Yes, they can charge you extra. It might have been twenty five, actually, twenty five cents. And you, I remember me and my friends used to split a fifty cent coin. And get those. How do you split a fifty? Oh wait, we just I was got thinking two. like you cut it in half. <laughs> Yeah, with the little Dremel. Yeah. Yeah. Elementary schoolers with a Dremel. Have you guys ever swallowed a coin? No. I have not. I haven't either. Yeah, that, that that's right. good to know he <laughs> <laughs> I was curious. I mean, I know as a kid I used to be like I used to chew gum every day. Like I would go to the store, get gum and chew it. Instead of like spitting it out like a normal person, I would just swallow it. I don't know if you guys like ever did that. But like every day I, I would too just afraid. swallow gum. I thought I would die if I swallowed gum. Yeah, then eventually That's I started insane. wondering if I was gonna die because I would just be swallowing gum every day. Isn't it like a myth that it like gets stuck to your throat or like your stomach or something? I think it like you, the myth was that it clogs up somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I never did that. I am not a person that has gum a lot i usually if like i usually just have like breath mints for that sort of thing you know mm -hmm. i don't know i used to like gum but now i feel like gum has like they made gum worse like it's not as flavorful like, or as fun to chew it i guess it depends on like what gum you're getting yeah i guess if you like if you're getting, getting super kind. cheap stuff yeah i mean i love the flavor of juicy fruit but i know that's like the cheap gum I was always like a mint gum guy. Yes, I. Well, which mint though? Just like uh, spearmint. Is that the blue flavored mint, or is that the green one? <laughs> well, I don't know. Usually, it's there... like white with, like just white. Well, there's like there's like the green one and there's the blue one because they're like two different kind of mint flavors. Do you oh know yeah, the are you familiar with Altoids? And... Yeah. Which color? Of Altoid. Yeah. The white ones. I've never had them, so I'm like... <laughs> Oh gosh. There's, the, the... there's two mint types. There's the white Altoids and the blue ones. They're both good. No, the, the red Altoids are good too. Cinnamon flavor, yeah. No, they're not cinnamon. They're not? Is that they're the normal. strawberry one? Look, no, no, they're they're just normal like mint. I'm not a mint connoisseur. They're not red. The 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 pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're having the strong discussion on what flavored mints are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're red. They're, but peppermint. They see? have a red border. I wasn't referring to the packaging. Sorry. I thought you were like referring to the actual. No, mint. they have a red. <laughs> They're red. Oh. The red mints. <laughs> Man. I swear you were referring to the mint, like the the color of the actual mint inside. Uh, that, that's a fair assumption. I should have but, clarified. Okay, yeah, I get the red ones then. Okay. Yep, they're good. They're uh peppermint, the red ones. Gotcha. Not spearmint. Thank, thank you. Now, what's the worst kind of candy though? The uh, Halloween Skittles that you get? I don't think I've ever had those. It's like they have all the regular flavors, but they also add like some bad flavors into it. Mm. And okay, I have a story. So I had like my friend's birthday was after Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I went to his house and all that and we hung out there for the night and stuff. And so we got in my car and someone had an open package and someone else hit it, and all they went everywhere in my car. <laughs> and I, I actually found, I think I found the last one like a week ago. <laughs> How do you know it was really it. the last? Because I remember after that in the morning, I got like most of what was in there. Because those packages don't come with very many. And I found We're a talking few. talking about like a package Hugh has, right? 
No, no, no. They're like the small like oh, Halloween the baby version. ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like I'm saying Fun like size. twenty in there or something. I would be surprised if they actually had twenty in there. I feel like it would have been like ten. Yeah, ten, fifteen, twenty. But I remember I found a good amount. Thirty. At the first mm-hmm. time, and then over 30. time, I've slowly found and, more. And how long ago is this? A year ago? Yeah, last Halloween. It's and last week, I found rotting away in your car. Yeah, at least it's not really rotting because it's sugar infested. So it's yeah. Hard. Mm-hmm. I think the worst, in my opinion, is candy corn. I I was I was gonna say that too. I agree. Candy corn it's is fine atrocious. for like one. It's okay for one, but when you keep eating them, it like just exponentially gets worse. I don't, I don't know, know if you guys how feel the same. Anybody can buy a bag of them. I like saw those people jumbo do that. size bags, the size of your head. I'm just like, who in their right mind just eats that candy out of all of them? I was good to get. Oh, I I remember the name of that other sour candy that I like. The sweet tarts. Those are pretty good. What kind of sweet tarts? Because I think they have multiple versions like the, of sweet tarts. The, right? the original, the original sweet tarts. Like, like the actual like pill looking things. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of those. Yeah, they're not everybody's thing. I'm but not. I like, like them. I'm not like a fan of Smarties either. Either everybody like I know in school was like a fan of those, especially like crushing them up and like you know being oh, kids yes. with them. They make you smart though. Smarties, yeah. No, I, I don't know. Definitely wasn't a fan of those either. What about yeah, you? Most, least favorite. Oh, I was gonna say candy corn too, but most candy for me. Um, like if you keep eating it, it just like gets worse, you know, True. like you can't, I don't, I can't name like a candy that I can just keep eating forever and it not like taste bad after a while. You know what I mean? I feel like many M&Ms hit different. Really? I don't know. I feel like there, there's something different about them compared to the like normal M&Ms. And I there's don't know. There's so many M&M variants though. Yeah, they got like pretzel M and M's. They got like peanut M and M's, and then they got like different other M and M's. Just like the list just goes on for them. Yeah, I think Japan has like different flavors of Kit Kats too. Mm-hmm. Like they've got so many. You got like green tea and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like yeah. the normal Kit Kats or the white chocolate Kit Kats. I mean, I'm fine with the normal ones. I don't. I don't think I really care for white chocolate. White chocolate is so good. I love white chocolate. I love white chocolate too. Because I didn't care for, I guess, Hershey's has its like Oreo bar, right? Or is that, what do they call it? It's like the white chocolate filled with like miniature. Cookies and cream. Oh, there we go. Cookies and cream. So yep. I don't think there I fully go. cared for that one. But I guess is Hershey's really chocolate though and they're like fake chocolate hmm. they don't meet the requirements and hey, when's mario gonna be back i don't think he's coming back he's not coming back no so i'm probably gonna have to figure something out for a while he's gone man we can't talk about custom keyboards i yeah. think is it appropriate to spend unnecessary big I mean, money on him without him no nah, yeah, that's, that's his thing though but he's not going to be coming back. He's going to be no, gone for like the next two hours, probably. Oh, okay. Because he's eating dinner. Oh, it's dinner time for you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's I always seven forget o'clock. about time. Soon. I, I don't mean, Hugh myself trash. ate before the podcast. So. Yeah, I don't want to be talking trash about Mario when he can't defend his keyboards. I mean, would you really be talking trash? Oh, I mean, I guess. I feel like you don't. Hmm. Guys, do we want to go down the route of talking about custom keyboards without the expert? Is that a custom keyboard? No. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Okay, well, well, we'll save that for a different day then. Let Mario get to have his moment. But. I mean, I just sold a computer. 
So what made you sell this computer? Wait, while we were like, talking? Yes. Yeah. Oh. That's why you left yeah. us. You left? Yeah. I did. No, we didn't. Yes, I did. For like Wait. 10 minutes, I'd say. During our oh. Minecraft talk. Oh, well, the mic is covering him. My mic is like covering his oh. smoke thing. Uh. <laughs> I didn't really notice. Yes. Um, yeah, I sold it because I built it to sell a long time ago, and I never sold it. And finally, someone showed interest in buying it, and I got $350 for it. So, you know. Did you make a profit or a loss? I made $50 on it. So, so if it only sold for 350 what graphics card or, like, processor did you So have? it had a 1070 in there. I had a mm -hmm. what? An i7 2600K had 16 gigs of RAM, DDR3 though. Yeah. And it had a decent power supply and like decent other like coolers and all that. Mm. For, wait, for 350? Uh, I built it with used parts for 300 and then I sold it for 350 just now. I thought 1070s were more valuable than that. I Not bought mine used anymore. for one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been a few years since I built my 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 PC. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. I Market mean, I know. Quick. I was looking at the like months ago when I gave my brother my old ten seventy, and I was like, okay, what what's the cost of like graphics cards? And I'm like seeing the ten seventies going for like a hundred dollars. I'm like, oof. You know, I remember when I bought this 1070 back like four years ago or whatever it is, five years ago, for like six hundred dollars or whatever absurd price I paid for it. I'm just like, man, and now it's worthless. Now all the two thousand yeah. graphics cards are worthless too. Now, now the Honestly, three thousands are on their way in. I don't see the three thousand series doesn't seem to be that good. Like, really? You think so? I don't see. Not even like the. 30 80 or 70 i just don't think they're as good as they claim um, yeah they were boasting the, like two times the performance or something right it's so more of like a marginal improvement from what i've seen on the internet mm. Mm. and i mean still most people only use 1080p monitors like myself and most people <laughs> that's yeah. true so right now there's not a demand for a higher graphics card than like a 3070 i'd say probably like unless like you are like doing all that fancy streaming stuff at like absurd qualities and frame rates and whatnot and having a bunch of things running in the background so probably for the most part we don't need it i mean i know people i mean i think ash was saying that he's a 1050 I mean, he needs one. He would well, want an upgrade. Mo most games are actually pretty optimized, though. Like, I, obviously, you can't play on ultra high settings, but like, if you're fine with playing on, you know, medium, maybe high, then like, there's not really a huge incentive on upgrading. Usually, yeah. it's for people that are like doing VR um, at high settings or doing like uh, really new games that are trying to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't do so. I mean, I know Ash only has two gigs of RAM for his graphics card, so whenever he's editing, I guess he's running out of memory on his graphics card for editing, which will then cause his uh, editing software to crash, supposedly. So I know he's kind of like in desperate need of an upgrade soon. Yeah. But it's not a RAM thing? N it's, it's his video both. memory. Uh, That's running video out. RAM. I I know that RAM is also important. Yeah. For video editing, but video memory also is a big part too. I mean, mm -hmm. since he only has two gigs, he's kind of out of luck. I know. I have eight video memory, and then I have sixty-four of just regular. Yeah. I don't know how much VRAM I have. What's but... your graphics card? <laughs> 1080 Ti? You have 8. Yeah. Oh, like, all right, like... yeah. Wait, you have a 1080 Ti, you have 11. <laughs> there 11. you go, Hugh. Nice. And then I think... Have you heard of... Hmm? Uh -huh. Go. 
Have you heard of uh, NVIDIA? They were doing, uh, you know, sorry, uh, this is an off topic thing, Jay. You were on topic. Please continue. No, no, here you go. Please, please, please. Okay. So, you know, N NVIDIA has been doing like crazy stuff with um, artificial intelligence. Like, I, I, they figured out how to, um, or maybe it's been here for a while, but they figured out how to do like AI upscaling, like in real time with games. Oh, have so, they? So, like, they, make, they take something that looks like 4K and like, it uses less resources to upscale it from 4K to 8K mm -hmm. than from running like native 8K. You mm. know what I mean? So like the image looks like more similar to 8K even though it was rendered at 4K. You know what I mean? I'm probably doing a terrible job explaining this, but you know. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I guess that's beneficial to whoever needs that, right? I don't know what instances yeah. you would really care for having it in 8k 16k whatever k yeah that's true because i mean a also, lot of people are still stuck on their 1080p monitors so yeah well i mean i'm sure the technology still applies right like you can probably ups or, or i don't know i'm talking out of my ass here uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, i also know nvidia's done um uh something where like you you take like a shitty ms paint drawing and like they take that and they make it into like a photorealistic like landscape. Have you seen that? No. Like you draw like a really crappy outline of a mountain and the technology makes it like look like an actual realistic mountain. Hmm. So I thought that was cool. No, I mean I didn't I didn't watch when they announced all the new graphics cards, so I don't know if they did it during that. So I mean I'm probably missing out because, like, I know they announced a lot of stuff with their NVIDIA broadcasts and, like, NVIDIA voice thing where, you know, so you can, like, be able to, like, remove all the background noise that you have. And I guess the broadcast yeah, cool. software does it, like, even to a, a higher level, which I don't, I don't know how that's possible, but I guess they're they're capable of doing all that and, you know, we're making virtual backgrounds, too, just using your graphics card. So, I mean... They, they seem to be on top of it. I mean, we got AMD announcing their new stuff in the next few days here, I believe. Like, five days? On the I'm 8th, excited I to do that. I mean, I think the only thing I care for is their processor, but in regards to graphics cards, I don't think I care for it. I do yeah, at I mean, this point. Really? Yeah, so NVIDIA graphics cards are generally better um, for usually video editing and stuff like that where it requires the VRM, but apparently AMD is coming out with a new VRM. So if that mm. proves to be better than NVIDIA's VRM, then I'd probably buy it. Yeah, I mean, I hope they can compete with uh, NVIDIA, get some, you know, good improvements going in the market. Always good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their processors definitely are the main... Uh, thing that they have going right now. They're still way ahead of Intel. Unfortunately, not in the gaming atmosphere, supposedly. Not by much. Yeah, not mm. by much, but that's what everybody boasts about. You talking the about one percent that they yeah. that they've claimed to. I think it's about the same now, isn't it? Yeah, maybe I like mean, slightly better. I don't know. Like I follow like Power GPU, the computer maker guy, and you know he always talks about like Intel still better in that aspect for, for yeah. playing video games and whatnot. And other creators have talked about it. Well, I, I mean, follow Linus Tech Tips, so get slammed. I do not. I don't think I follow him. I follow what? so many tech YouTubers, guys. I have. I'm subscribed to like hundred tech YouTubers or something like. That. I, think the, I don't even know there's a hundred. The only one that I think I'm subscribed to is Gamer Nexus. Yeah, I'm subscribed to them. One of the many. Jesus. Yeah, he, he's Jesus. got some, he's got some cool hair. Not gonna lie. I don't think I could handle that much hair though. You don't want his like, luscious locks and. He, he dude, I'm struggling beard, with right? the amount of hair I have right now, and it's not that much compared to what he has. Like, ugh. So is that your typical hair then? Oh no, this is way longer than normal. I usually have like, I don't know, generally shorter hair than this. Mm, like yeah. right now, let's see, it's like one strand is like what, pretty long. <laughs> Some of my friends grew their hair out after high school, mm -hmm. and they said there's like a there's like a period where it's really uncomfortable, 
and then after a certain point it gets like better if you keep growing so, it out i don't know i'll see if i become a hippie it's all good but you're not even doing the hippie arc anymore so i mean you know they're but me. hey in real life i might be who knows you're gonna bring the hippie arc back to the server then maybe we'll see Okay, I mean, we got another eight months minimum on the season, so, you know, anything's possible. Dude, I'm going to have time. Is that, is that, yeah, I mean, eight months, oh, goodness. Hey, we were talking about, a, I don't know if I can say this, Jay, but we were talking about a 3.5 season. That would be cool. I mean, we can. I mean, you know, anything is, is possible. So, I think an eight-month season would be, like, a cool, I don't know, I think that would be cool. There's got to be like a, a quirk to it though, since it's short. It's got to be quirky. You know? See, Amplified then? Well, I don't think people want to reset full. Oh, well, I mean, I think some people at least aren't ready to reset. I mean, we just accept the thing, so I mean, yeah. would it make sense? I'm just saying hypothetically, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm always open i guess for the opportunity to have like a second server survival server running i guess in a way but i don't know if those work well right like when hermitcraft and minecraft like had a modded server running at the same time as their normal survival server it always seemed like one of the servers was lacking because of it but I don't yeah know. no i think if we we're gonna do something like that we'd have to shut down the current one I mean, I don't, it, I, I don't know how how psyched I would be for that. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, obviously, I'm not. I Personally, probably, it would suck for the new members. Yeah. Not necessarily, but, would it? Yeah. yeah well, because no, I mean, you just join your case. Well, may, maybe not, but for, maybe for like uh, ca Caffers? I guess Caffers, maybe. Justin. Justin, yeah. But I mean, now they know that they have eight more months minimum before we ever want to reset, most likely. Because I mean, you know, my whole my whole spiel has been, we're not resetting until we get one dot seventeen. That way, we have not the new that's generation. Eight months away now, and now that's eight months away. <laughs> So it's like a wrench thrown into the mix kind of deal. I mean, I guess it's also kind of helpful now. Like Tink knows, like, oh, I don't have three months left, you know, to play on this, you know, current season. I have eight months. So I guess, yeah. you know, now we can, like, for sure be like, you have nothing to worry about recent-wise. We have another eight months minimum. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Wait, Jay, are you in your last year of uh, college? Yeah. You're just still going to be the owner after uh, you graduate? <laughs> I mean, I would imagine. I don't know. We'll, we will have to see, you know, if anything mm. happens by then. Because, I mean, season two will be two years old in June. So, I mean, that's that's crazy. That will be our longest season ever. Wait, we're I mean, one year old already? Yes. For the no, season. wait, wait, what? We're we're a year in a. We started June of 2019, so we're already uh, four. Wait, <laughs> so we're we're four about almost a year and four months, which I think beats any previous season. So and then if we're gonna add another eight months, then bam, it's gonna I mean, be a year season. We're gonna be boomers. Yeah. So I mean, like, I'll be graduated by the time season four is about to come out. White will oh, too. Man. I will be going into college. Yep. Mario will too. We have any other Afterlife members that would be going to college by then? Skunk. <laughs> no. Who else? We have any other? Well, I mean, I don't really know how the the British operate over there. Art Art's only fifteen, sixteen, so no, maybe no, yeah, no. The way their their works is they go to like colleges, like the last two years of high school in the U.S. Mm. 
and then they go into university, which is the college here. When do they go to university, though? What age? 18. Okay, well then, I think art still has a little bit, so. I don't think anybody else is there yet, though. I think everybody else is old. Boomers already in. Yep. Um, how's it feel to be old, Hugh? Oh, I'm not old. You're, You're old. old. You're graduating next year. You're kind of old. I mean, it'll be freedom, so I'll take it. Yeah. Then but I'll I be mean, stuck in the capitalist you, yeah, you, society. You actually have to wake up, though, like at a certain time each day. You can't I mean, pull a, fall asleep at 12 o'clock, wake up at 6 p.m. sort of deal. Yeah, but at least you're getting paid for that. Like, I don't know. Like, my stigma to that is, like, everybody's like, school or some of your greatest memories in years, you know. You should be enjoying every last minute of it. I'm like, but when you get a job, you're at least getting paid to go this, and do that yeah. work. You're not the one paying to go to school. You're paying to go to work. Well, you're getting paid to go to work. Yeah, I guess so. So you when get you like take more a test, you get paid more responsibility. For it. Yeah, I mean, you get more responsibilities when you go to work. Like you have to pay for all your bills, I guess, unless you already are. But. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if many people see it like that. I know, like, my family, my, my dad and stepmom, they're like, you should be enjoying every second of school before you get set to the dogs. Well, hopefully the idea of going to college is so, I, so my job is enjoyable. I mean, that's hopefully. the way I look at it. Yeah. It's the that's, idea. That's the game how... plan, right? Yeah. I don't know. So, I mean, it'll be exciting. Why did myself are going to be working? We're going to be all grown up. We're going to be boomers. Mm. Be I I already work, but just not a lot. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, Puff. Landscaping isn't a job I want to do all my life, though. So, yeah, I was a bellman as a part time job, too. Definitely don't want to be working out in the summer heat or the Florida heat, <laughs> you know. But mm. as a bellman, are you really in the heat? Um. Well, the thing is, Mario told me to uh, you, for you to check your DMs. Okay. Okay. But okay, yeah, okay. no, I was I was in like um I was a bellman for like a resort complex, so I had to like um drive around and like put people's things and walk upstairs in the heat and stuff. Mm. So, yeah. Maybe if you're indoors, it's probably fine, though. Yeah, I didn't know if, like, you were indoors the whole time as a bellman, so I was like, I mean, I guess you're only outside when, you know, people, you know, pull up their cars and, like, here you go, take my stuff up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't sure. Mm. You have any... What's your worst story as a bellman, do you think? Um, you have to have something interesting, right? Yeah. I don't know if I can say it on the podcast, though. Oh. Oh, whatever. We'll cut it out. We'll cut it out if it's too bad. So I was carrying this person's bags, right? It was this, uh, this mom and her son, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm explaining to them about the resort. Like, you know, the beach is like 15 minutes down the road or whatever. Can we get, and, like, an uh, example of how you're explaining it? Like, you know, your fake customer satisfaction voice? Hey, buckaroos. There's no way. over that. that way. And so I was saying, you know, there's dolphins, you know. Sometimes if you see a boat, you'll see dolphins jump behind them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so we get into the, ele the elevator, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm still talking about the, the fucking, or the dolphins, right? <laughs> and... <laughs> And the the son, uh, right as we get into the elevator, he's like, you know, dolphins rape people, right? Like right in front of the mom. And so that was like the most awkward experience for me, just standing there in awkward silence as like the mom, uh, like eyeballs her kid. Like, why would you say that? How old? You know, is in the, the son, elevator. You think probably like um thirteen, fourteen. And so we're just going up the elevator in complete silence. 
mom staring her kid down. It was really uncomfortable for me. But, you know, they tipped me a lot, so it was pretty good. Mm. To keep quiet. Yep. Probably. <laughs> probably after that, I would assume. I'm sure you were, like, had some other stories too, Hugh. You don't have any other ones? No. People are yeah. pretty nice to Bellman generally. Like, even if um, I was helping someone that yelled at the front desk, they realize I'm just, like, the kid that's, like, helping them, you know? So, like, I would ask, I would act all, like, oblivious or whatever. Be like, ah, I'll take your bags. Well, you and wouldn't so have, pretty... like, a boomer screaming at you, hurry it up, pick up the pace? No, actually, people are really nice. So, yeah, mm. even if someone's in, like, a bad mood, they don't really take it out on me, maybe. I don't remember, so, yeah. Mm. Okay. Puff, do you have any horrible stories as a landscaper over there? I'm thinking. Uh, well, yeah. One time we were, we ended up, we went to a job, and there was a, you know, everything was going normal until the end, and then we noticed this really, really wet spot, and it turned out the irrigation broke. Um, and there was this huge mud like pit thing, and. Mm -hmm. So, number one, we had to dig it out, and then we found out that it wasn't only that it was broken, mm -hmm. but the pipe that we needed, we didn't have. Oh. So, we had to, like, like make sure it wouldn't leak more. Go to the um, plumbing store, get the correct size, come back, and we were at that job for, like, three extra hours because of that. It was not fun. So... That was that was probably the worst series. Mm. Wait, <laughs> day. <laughs> okay, it's okay, Puff. You're a constant creator. We get it. I know. I know. Yeah. Skunk said he fell off scaffolding one time. Ooh, oof. while being like twenty feet in the air or whatever. So twenty feet. That that's gotta hurt. Oh, he ended up being fine. So you know. All that matter. Yeah. I don't think I ever got severely hurt landscaping. I think, yeah, I can't think of anything. I think I've skunks gotten... hammered his thumb before, or something close, something on his thumb. I've done that. Where it like it turned like all. I think he even had to Purple. take out the wait. No, I think he was there. Something. Hmm. I remember he had to use a nail, to, like let out. The pressure from it one time. Oh, too. It was that. that was bad then. He must have. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But welcome back, Mari. We missed you. Hey. Mari. Yeah, I apologize about that, everyone. Well, it's not really your fault. Unfortunately, my microphone kind of blocks my taskbar on Discord. Well, on the bottom of my monitor, so it's not really well positioned at the moment. You missed the dolphin story, Mario. What yeah, I think the... I heard the dolphin story before. Yeah, I, have I told it on the podcast before? I don't. I think I've asked you from when you were. Oh, working. okay, okay. Or actually, you might have told me the day that it happened. I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, you can tell Mari. No, it's okay. Mari. He can walk. He can watch the podcast back. Ah. Uh... Okay, but Mari, so we wanted to have this discussion with you present because we figured, you know, you kind of belong here for it. But yes. custom keyboards. You know. Why why would you think I'm interested in that? I'm like, that's not even related to me. Jay. Well, I mean, Puff, show your keyboard. Yeah, he was the one that told me about it. So, I mean, he hey. has his. I mean... P, what are you Mine rocking? The same. Oh, I don't I'm think I can the show twenty-five dollar high dong keyboard, baby. Uh, high dong. Uh, uh, Hell yeah! I can't, I can't show mine all the way because I have a, a velcro ve ve velcro strip. Man, I can't talk. Oh wait, we have the similar. Oh no, his is yeah. Way I just took the keycaps off of that keyboard that Puff has, and I used it in what? this custom build. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize like you had a actual fancy kind of keyboard over there puff i only is, saw the black keycaps so then i was like why oh, are you being basic because like when you showed it i only could see the black i was like okay it's like 
it's supposed to be like a gaming keyboard or a mechanical keyboard at least. Yeah. So this is like Puff's keyboard, except I just stripped it. <laughs> yes, you murdered it. And put it on this other one. I mean, you are our keyboard connoisseur over here, Mari, right? You know? Yes. You've clearly spent the most on keyboards out of everyone in Afterlife, I'm pretty sure. How much have you spent total? Um, next question. Probably about a thousand dollars, I imagine, minimum. Mario, the first step in admitting you have a problem is admitting you have a problem. Yeah, I admit I have a problem. There oh, okay. Go. First step taken. All right, you're good then. So, Mario, are you, are you trying to get another custom keyboard after just getting some of your parts for your current one? Yeah, I'm getting another one. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, everyone just cringe. Well, I mean, nice. I'm just like, you need to upgrade computer parts, not keyboard parts. I'm just like even more interested now because like recently I DM'd one of my classmates on Instagram because I saw he had been following like some keyboard companies and creators and stuff. And he was just like, yeah, you know, I do custom keyboards too. And so I found another one of my own. And he said, there's like even more people at my high school who also make custom keyboards. So I'm like, all these Asians. How did you get into custom keyboard creation? Well, let's, let's see here. I think it was, it was January of this year. Uh, I don't even remember. It must have been YouTube recommended or something. And then um, I remember I had a phase where I was listening to a lot of ASMR, like on, mm -hmm. on ironically, like I, I don't mind it, but I, I don't like, like it that much anymore. I like keyword ASMR, but I don't really like talking ASMR. But yeah. So YouTube just recommended me typing sounds, but it was like this really fancy keyboard. Um, Cause I was just used to people typing on like a, a, black widow or something yeah that was that was my introduction into so you spent like close to four digits on keyboards just in this year alone is what you're telling me um yes why not close to four digits no i don't think it's close to, it's like I thought you got in two custom keyboards yeah the first one was like under 200 though so oh i thought it was like 300 no it was it was a little guy it's, it's it was this one. but i'll take it this one is quite this one do you have a different clunky. keyboard for each of your moods <laughs> okay I at one point I was switching between the two, but it's also like yeah, today's an off day. I'll go with the we'll go with this one. We'll go with the little one. Yeah, Just have them both eventually. plugged in. That is yeah, that would be valid. I should do that. Yeah, we're gonna install a wireless keyboard at one point. You know, we're gonna get the afterlife house, install a wireless keyboard in your computer. And just randomly start typing whenever you're typing, like when uh Fedmeister did that, the Pokemon, I think. Yeah. Those were the two people. Just randomly make you think that your custom keyboard's broken. I, I spent so much money on that. You know, Mario, do you regret it though? Or are you happy at the end of the day with your keyboard? I'm uh I'm pretty happy with it. He's addicted. Maybe mm. I'll regret it in like ten years, but I don't think You know, because whenever we talk about the cost of these keyboards, you get a little bit hesitant. So, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, at the end of the day, is it worth it for these keyboards, Mario? I think if hmm. you're being very hesitant right now, you know, it's kind of showing that <laughs> it should be a simple yes or no question. No, I don't really regret it because I don't really feel the need to spend the money on like, like, like you said, PC parts or anything. I'm pretty happy with everything else. So. But wouldn't you I, want 10 billion FPS with Minecraft shaders? 
rock the new 3090 rtx then rock the new 10 10,900k intel I, processor or amd processor whichever one makes your minecraft shader fps go up or but then my fingers don't feel good optifine 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 is it all about so the much. fingers man when you just like get used to a keyboard over time like then you do then your fingers are fine like at this point with this keyboard, at first when I got it, I was typing things wrong because my finger would slip, right? But now I can pretty much type without looking again. Yeah, this keyboard's kind of screwed me. It's, it has the low keycaps, like very, very low keycaps. Because then I, mm. I bought one of the crummy Logitech keyboards. Crummy? Like, no, uh no. I'm a Logitech guy, all right? Oh. I mean, oh. I have a Logitech mouse. Yeah, so do wireless I. mouse. So, I mean, you know, but like their keyboard. I mean, Mario would say they're crummy keyboards. You know, if they're not like you know on the custom keyboards or some fancy keyboard over there, no, then you know they're. Probably I gonna... I respect it. I respect Logitech. Okay, I. But you didn't respect keyboards... like Corsair or whatever. Okay, I thought you didn't respect I, one of them. My first one, my first one was Corsair. Like they. The quality is really good. Like the it's like solid. But then mm. the the like the space bar just sounds like a Minecraft skeleton every time you press it. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's so gross. I've never heard someone so majestically describe a space bar. It sounds like 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 you're cracking like I don't know, like a plastic bottle inside your keyboard. Yeah, Jay, I was in your boat. I had to, uh, I used like the low keys for the longest time. And then I moved on to the high dong master race. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me a little bit while to get used to, but you know, eventually you like it, it gets normal. You get I used don't to it. know. Using my Logitech one for three months, I still couldn't get used to it. I think really? it even made me perform worse on it because that's when I was playing Fortnite. So, like, I think I, I continued to do worse with it. I never got better, so then I just went back to my old one. Okay, mm. once once you get a custom keyboard, you can't go back. Like, well, I know. There's too much money on the line to go back. <laughs> you're It's going to feel too good. Like, it just... I it's... mean, maybe. I mean, you're over here like... You are you're you went from 200 to 400 now. The next one's, what, 600? Don't know. I mean... I mean we we need Eventually, you to hit us up with the list here. We need to be able to look for ourselves. You're supposed to be our connoisseur. You're supposed to be know, like trying guys. to make us a part of the custom keyboard master race over here. I'll admit it's not for everyone. Like like I think if you don't have like a money. If you don't have money to spend, <laughs> yeah, don't do not spend money on keyboards. <laughs> Spend it on food or like mm -hmm. candy, yeah, a microphone or candy. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, for me, I try to be like as thrifty as possible whenever I buy things. So, that like, is, yeah, that's a good I can't imagine spending more than $100 on a keyboard. Yeah. It is painful to think about that. Yeah. I think. I'm just surprised that you were willing to bite the bullet, Mario. I think initially the first purchase was like, am I really about to do this? But then eventually I started treating it less as like a peripheral, like like that you need to upgrade and more like, I don't know. The computer. Hobby? Yeah, a hobby. It's like, I wouldn't say art because you're not like, Drawing, like I don't know, creating it yourself, but it's like you well, kind of express yourself. You, you know? know, you're making a keyboard. You're you're doing all of this, and you're even like choosing what keycaps you want and whatnot. Yeah. So I don't know. To me, that that just felt like it would have been a lot of risk when you have to do all the soldering for it. That would have been the scary part. Like yeah, even watching scary. some other streamers do it, I'm like. And like watching them even screw up, like potentially, and be like, "Oh, forgot to do this one." Goes back to soldering it. Like, 
I don't know. I Solder feel like is such a weird word. It really is, but. I think I did everything like on stream for this keyboard except for the soldering because I, I didn't want to mess that up. Like, oh. That would have been a lot of pressure to mess that up. I thought about doing a custom keyboard. I, I have a friend who like goes to my high school and he like, I almost bought one from him, but I was more like trying interested in actually building one myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was like going to sell one to me for like $200. I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money for a keyboard. Yeah, that's like that's like the low end <laughs> for custom keyboards. So. Exactly. And then he he was telling me that's how that's like the cheapest it is for a good one, at least for a decent one. And I was like. Damn. <laughs> that's nah. a lot of money. Maybe one day. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see that. What if do you this think, keyboard though? breaks, then maybe. I Let's mean, go to Puff's house. <laughs> Spill water on it. I mean, I've That's spilled, a long flight for you guys. I've spilled Coke on my keyboard twice. But only on the second time is when I had to take my keyboard apart. Because I guess the well, I've first taken time, my keyboard apart. I haven't, because I never... Like, mine's pretty closed off to where, like, nothing can get down there anyways. But like the second one like solidified the deal because like it actually spilt over like a nice portion of my keyboard for a good bit. So, yeah, I did the same thing, but I just snorted it and it was good. That's good. You like put it in rice so like Mario can come fix it. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, oh, you're talking about the soda. <laughs> you, I was trying to make a about? quick joke. Okay. Oh. Uh, trying to make a Mario and Rice joke here. Yeah, oh, I mean, you know, I figure it kind of fit because, you know, it's keyboard. You like right, keyboard. that's a pretty funny joke. Jay, when are you gonna, um, take the plunge? On a keyboard? Yeah. I mean, I technically have the funds to do so. Jay, go big or go home. Because... I, I acquired money for my birthday to, like, potentially buy a chair. I didn't like said chair, so I returned the chair. So now I have all the money back from the chair. Or, well, I should be getting the money back soon. So, I mean, I'll have all the money from that to, you know, look at, a, at another chair if I wanted. But I don't know, like, all the chairs I want, like, you know, looking at Herman Miller's, they're, like, $1,000 brand new, I'm like... Exactly. Why spend a thousand dollars to make your ass feel good when you, <laughs> you make your fingers feel good? Or your back? Like, oh, yesterday my butt was feeling it. Like, I my butt was in pain for like a good thirty minutes just laying in bed. <laughs> I don't know. If I, that's I invested in the Office Max gaming chair for a hundred dollars. You like it? Yeah, it's like the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in in my life. Do you feel the bottom of it? With your cheeks? I mean... Do, how, yes. Do, do, yes. Why? <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's the thing about me for chairs. It's like, if you can't, like... if there, It's like just a flat, you know, metal thing. Like the chair I'm in right now. It's very uncomfortable. So I like a little bit of flex when I sit down, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a comfortable chair. Yeah, that's why you see me fidgeting around. It's because, like, you know, trying to get comfortable. But I can't. I'm in eternal pain. Yeah. Mm. I mean, compared to, like, you know, the chairs that you have like, in, like, a dining room sort of thing, which is what I used to use, mm -hmm. this is so much better because, like, it's spinny, too. Yep, the spin. Armrests are so great, too. And Not heavy armrests. <laughs> Mine's already on the lowest setting. But can you do this? What are you gonna do here? You're just, you're just gonna leave us hanging here? No, no, I was just, I was doing the meme. You know, where you go back in the chair. Yeah, but you were supposed to do it then. Yeah, I thought you were gonna do no, it. Like... I was just quoting the meme, guys. It's not like okay. I have to do everything around here, guys. Can you do that, Puff? Oh, no. I can, like... 
But no, mine isn't that advanced. It, I, I, I got it on scared sale. To do it. I'd feel like I was gonna fall over. But it's good for like playing piano on though, because I have the armrest. Mm -hmm. My piano's like right there. Well, I don't know if it's like my gaming chair is just cheap, but my armrests are like they get loose every like few Whoa. months, and I have to re tighten them. Hmm. I haven't had. I only had to assemble my chair once. Mm. And like I've never really had to tighten anything. How long have you had it? Like two years, maybe. Oh, I'll have to buy an Office Max chair. Dude, yeah, this, these things, bro. Can you send me a link? I don't even know if they exist anymore. I just saw it in my store. Okay. Well, if if if, if you uh, see it, then I'd appreciate not dying on this chair. Oh wow, it's two hundred dollars now. You to reiterate, you okay, have never like mind. A, you have Whoa. Like a <laughs> oh, what, Mario? You, what kind of chair do you have? The one that his dorm gave him. Mm, yeah, that's not comfortable at all. Oh. <laughs> that's don't worse than it, what guys. my college gave me. It's okay, don't worry about it, guys. We're good. Yeah, that oh. looks like pain sitting in that. There's a massive link. There you go. Okay, thank you. One day, you can have a good chair. As long as it's less than a hundred bucks. Yeah, good. I didn't realize it was two hundred dollars because I must have got it on sale or something. I wouldn't say it's worth two hundred dollars. Not gonna lie. Mhm. Mm I think it's worth a hundred, which is what I bought it for. So. Yeah, I've seen videos about like people saying gaming chairs aren't like all that. They're not. You know what I mean? Ergonomic. Or comfortable. Like there, there's more like ergonomic chairs out there that for less, you know what I Office mean. Office chairs generally are pretty similar in ergonomics, like the high quality ones, obviously. I gotcha. I don't know. If you're gonna get a chair. I would just make sure it has thirty days for you to try it out, Hugh. That way, if for the real. chair starts to go flat after a week or two, then you can get rid of it. Or if you feel like that, you can't adjust to it. Because I felt like well, my I am back thick cannot boy. adjust to the other one. Yeah. Thick boy club problems. Feels bad, man. Okay. So Mario anyways, wrote us guys. a would you rather question. That will be our last topic of the night. There's three, though. But we're going to go with one. I feel like one the of them. The middle one. You want to? No, the okay. middle one's too basic. <laughs> And that is so un twenty twenty Mario. It All right, only allows for it. one gender. Well, yeah. So the would you rather cheating. question that we're gonna go with is would you rather be a lead movie star in a five out of ten movie, you know, it's dog poop kind of movie kind of deal, or an extra actor in a ten out of ten movie? I'm going with the extra actor in the ten out of ten. Yeah, this one's easy. I'd go with the extra actor as well. I'm going to go with the lead movie because you get more money. Dude, okay, but think about it. Then your jobs are limited. With an extra actor, you could get hired more for a larger role, you know? And over time, you but can build that up. Are, are they really going to hire an extra as like a... Sometimes they do. It depends what type of extra you are. I don't know. Yeah, if you're in a really bad movie, you're going to be remembered as being, like, super terrible. Yeah, it's like it's a, a 5 yeah. out of 10. You know, that's okay, you know. Like, well, what I if mean, the main character is well-written and everything else is... I, I guess it depends on that. But if it's, like, an unmemorable movie, you're probably not going to go very far, like, in your career or whatever, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the acting industry. I wouldn't know. I feel I'm like in the adult would go film the industry, five out however. Of 10. Just for the money? Well, I mean, I feel like... Because if you're an extra, you're kind of like a pointless thing. So, like, just saying that you're in a 10 out of 10 movie, I feel like won't get you far. Like, I've had an Uber driver tell me that he was an extra in, like, one of the Avenger movies. I'm like, oh. Cool story, We, we see that where that's gone and you still, right? You're, you're still driving for me. 
I can oh. okay. I can I can see your. Not saying there's anything there. wrong against two left, but you know. I guess a five out of ten movie means your opportunities after that are limited. Is really what that means. I don't. I mean, I think that did like. I guess. I mean, everything like has its like own semantics to it. Like you know, how severe is you know being an extra? Like you know, do you have like a role where a you line? actually say a few lines, or are you just like in the background, like sipping a cup of tea over here? Or maybe are you, are you the person where um, one of the Game of Thrones characters cuts your head off in the opening scene kind of deal? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my idea of an extra is just like no lines, just like background. Uh, it's kind of bragging rights, though. Yeah. Like if you're in a 10 out of 10 movie, you could say, bro, I was in that. Bro, I That's was in like Avengers get, Endgame. Though. You know that random little scrawny character right next to... um. I already forgot. Um, what's the guy with the fist again? I already forgot his name. Thanos, bro. Thanos? Yes. He's right behind oh, yeah, Thanos. That, that guy you with know. the fist. That, that <laughs> the purple guy, yeah. Yeah, the purple yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I was, nah, nah, I was one of the alien extras right behind him. Yeah. Or you oh, could yeah. be like, I was the lead actor and I don't know what five out of ten movies there are really. In exactly. You haven't seen them. Well, because oh, no. I typically don't go to five out of ten movies well, where I don't even really exactly. go to memorable. The only movies I actually like see in theaters is like, I guess was the Marvel movies. It's like you kind of have like they're at least going to be like a seven out of ten kind of deal. You kind of have an idea what they're going to be or like Star, Star Wars. It's like, you know, at least it's going to look visually pleasing. Yeah, I bet this you watched really Frozen sick. 2 in theaters. I haven't even seen Frozen 1 or 2. Oh. We need yeah, to do Frozen an Afterlife Frozen night. Frozen 1's a lot better. I heard. Agreed. But I haven't seen 2, so. I think those are kids' movies. Don't watch it. You're you a know kid, what? Dude. Minecraft is a kid's game. <laughs> no, it's for all ages, actually. I mean, Mojang Disney was talking about how... How, you know, they're they're happy that people are being able to raise their kids and, like, show their kids Minecraft and whatnot. So, I mean. Yeah, that's cool. Anything. Yeah, they're trying to call us old now. Dude, dude, dude. Technically, though, this game came out 10 years ago. Or 11, almost. Basically 11, because 2009. So. And think about it. If teenagers were playing it then, then now. 11 years later. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, teenagers could be having kids when they're teenagers. True, but Damn. not like often. Oh, <laughs> but you know, it's the United I, States after all. Guys, I don't mean to be—I don't mean to burst our bubble, but I think the ones getting teenage pregnancies are also not the ones playing Minecraft all day. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's that's fair. Well, I don't when know. you think about it, Minecraft it might be those PVPers. It, those oh. PVPers are a whole different wavelength. Well, I mean, laying more than Minecraft characters. Yes. Okay. Got well, something against PVPers, Jay? Yeah, they're they're a whole different breed, a different species. Mm. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Afterlife Pod. Okay, Mari, do all the advertisements right now. Two um, that we haven't if done. You if you enjoyed, please make sure to go check us out on all other platforms, including um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, we already did YouTube. That um, also, make sure to go check out our open application event for our main Minecraft server. Our only Minecraft server. I don't know why I said main. All right, Jay, we're giving it back to you. I, I'm not. Okay, don't forget for to check out the Discord at tiny.cc slash AL Discord. Capital A, capital L, capital D. And then everything else is lowercase. And then also we have all the members linked down below in the description or at streamerlinks.com slash Afterlife SP, which also has the link to the application video, to our Discord, all social media, and all the members. So go check that out if you actually care about all of us. Go check out Tinkfro2 as he is one of our new members. And don't forget, check out Puff, Mario, Hugh, and I guess leave comments down below what you guys thought about this podcast if we were stupid or not. Either way, thank you guys hey, for watching. They know we're smart. Thirty-four of the Afterlife podcast. Don't get anybody pregnant. Thank you. Goodbye. It's a lot of episodes.
That is some good advice, Jay. Yeah. Like ever? For now. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.